on The Explainer tonight. Tallow Oil Company has announced the commencement of the commercial exploration stage that will see Kenya extract and export high standard crude oil for a minimum of 25 years. And as Seth Olale reports from the firm's oil exploration sites in Turkana County, the Senate is already investigating circumstances under which two batches of crude oil were extracted and sold abroad during the initial phase of the exploration meant for analysis and appraisal. Multinational oil and gas exploration company Talo Oil, which ventured into oil exploration in Kenya in 2012, has announced commencement of its commercial viability extraction phase that will see Kenya extract and export a minimum of 120,000 barrels of crude oil to both regional and global refineries. The crude oil deposits were extracted from 10 oil wells out of 40, drilled in four huge blocks in Turkana East and South respectively. Lapset is in the process of acquiring land and again we will only get, so the land is for roads, railways and all other infrastructure. Extracts sampled and analyzed from the crude oil have established that it contains lower levels of hydrogen sulfide compared to the same commodity extracted in Africa's leading oil exporters such as Nigeria. Out of the 10 oil wells with commercial viability of crude oil extraction, four have been developed with works on the remaining six ongoing. Tano Oil Kenya already submitted its development plan to formally commence extraction of the crude oil to the Ministry of Energy in 2021. However, two years on, there's no response from the government. We are not aware that there is any plan that we are supposed to approve. It has not come to the floor of the House. If such a plan was forwarded to them, why it has taken too long for them to have to approve it? The Ministry of Lands and the National Lands Commission have already mapped the passage of the 824 kilometers 20 inch carbon steel oil pipeline from Turkana to its destination in Lamu port, traversing a total of six counties, including Garissa and Isiolo. Extraction of the high quality crude oil will be boosted by input of a 90 kilometer water supply pipeline from River Takwell. But even as the UK based oil exploration company prepares for its commercial extraction process, the senior management of the farm was tasked by the Senate Energy Committee to explain why it sold batches of crude oil overseas in 2019 and 2022. The officials stating that they were pushed by the government to sell contrary to the contractual agreement that indicated the early phase of oil exploration will be for analysis and extraction. In addition, Talo Oil cannot ascertain how much was collected from the sale of the two batches of crude oil. The information of how much it was sold for and what happened to that money, uh, the question uh, has not been uh, clearly answered. It is an issue that we are going to follow up. Even as Talo Oil insists it has the financial muscle to commence the half a trillion commercial extraction stage, but we'll see the development of the 10 oil wells complete in three years, the firm admitted that it is facing credit challenges from lenders who are keen on investing in green renewable energy as opposed to fossil remittances through oil and gas exploration. Now, for projects of this nature, I'll, I will be dishonest if I tell you that we will fund 100%. 
President Ruto, while hosting the Africa Climate Summit, reiterated that Kenya is moving quickly to obtaining renewable energy through the Green Revolution. Despite Tano Oil pumping billions of shillings into its oil exploration project, community leaders here say there is nothing to show of the 13-year existence of this particular farm. They are now calling for immediate intervention and wants the government to protect them against what they term as exploitation. Seth Olale, Citizen TV at the Tano Oil Company.